I was going on one. So iOS 18.5 is officially released to the public and we have it installed on our devices. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and go through memory lane and going over all the new changes that got added on iOS 18. Since after all, we are in the last stage of iOS 18, as next month is when WWDC takes place and that's when we get the first hands-on experience on things we expect to find on iOS 19, including new, possibly a whole new redesigned CarPlay experience. So let's go ahead and cover everything we know so far and the recently new added changes for Apple CarPlay. And of course, timestamps to everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. For starters, if you live in the UK, unlike here in the States, we always have the ability to change the native Apple CarPlay maps to be something like something else like Google Maps or even Waze. In the United Kingdom, you can now do that over there as well. This is all thanks to the new regulations that Apple had to adapt to in the UK. And now you guys have the ability to finally change out of Apple Maps to something other than Apple Maps. If you like to have Google Maps as an example to be your dedicated map source for a CarPlay you now have the ability to swap it just like so. Additionally, a new massive feature that was available for iOS 18 for CarPlay was the fact that if you go into your settings, you now have accessibility. In the accessibility tab, this is the first time we've seen the ability to finally add color filtering in case you have color blindness. You could grayscale it, switch it from gray to green filter, green to red, blue and yellow, a lot of amazing options. You can also increase the intensity as well if you like to be more contrast, just like so. And Apple is expected to add even more stuff on iOS 19 for those too. Now voice control was something that was kind of buggy, but thanks to iOS 15, I have noticed they improved it even more where you can do something like open music. And it simply just does it quicker than ever before, all thanks to 18.5. As this icon will always pop up, letting you know that your device is always listening. So you can always just say, tap, play, tap, pause. And you simply just control everything like that. Anything you see on the screen, you could just say tap and then back arrow, it'll do it. But hopping back over here, disabling this, Let's also increase the size of this to make it easier to see on camera. And we back out of here. We do have the new Apple Intelligence for Siri settings logo right here, which was recently updated as well, which allows you to disable Siri suggestions on the dashboard. If it's like a location you constantly travel to, like at a gym and stuff like that, you know how Siri will suggest would you like to travel here or set directions to it. Just disable that if you want that to be gone. But here you could automatically allow it to send messages. As soon as you tell Siri to respond to a text or send a message, it will automatically send. But by disabling that, you have to manually tap to confirm it before it automatically gets sent out. Let me give you an example. Text Grace. What do you want to say to Grace? Have you had breakfast yet? Sending, have you had breakfast yet? And this little bar will automatically pop up, giving you how much time okay. you have to send Cancel. that message. If you disable that, that little five second delay to automatically send a message, it's not gonna be there. You have to physically tap to confirm. And then show behind apps, this was always here. This allows you to basically use Apple intelligence, but the background isn't blurred. If we go ahead and disable that and we do it again, how's the weather looking like in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's currently clear and 85 degrees in Lincoln, Nebraska. Notice, Temperatures are heading down. Notice how it was blurring out the background. Well, if we ask it the same thing, how's the temperature looking like in Lincoln, Nebraska? It's about 85 degrees in Lincoln, Nebraska. See, the, bra uh, the background wasn't blurred out. Now, additionally, on iOS 18.4, some vehicles receive a third row columns of apps. Unfortunately, this vehicle doesn't support it. A couple of users have noticed with a large CarPlay display, there's a new third row option now finally added. Additionally, earlier, I don't know if you noticed, but when we send that message, it actually will show the user profile picture. Before, that wasn't available, all thanks to the latest version of iOS 18. Now, real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds to hit that like button, like that would be truly appreciated because I like to keep this channel powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a VPN taking like a minute or two off your time. So massive thank you to those that hit that like button, like and continue supporting this channel. Let's carry on. 
Spatial audio support is now supported in Apple CarPlay. If you're listening to your media on Apple Music, spatial audio is now compatible on most vehicles as well. All thanks to Adobe Atmos, providing a true immersive experience in your vehicle now. And then lastly, one of my most favorite feature is right now I have this music, this song playing, right? If I take the pair iPhone that we are using and if I launch the camera app, you're now able to hit record while the media is still playing in your vehicle. So if there's something you want to capture real quick, it doesn't automatically awkwardly pause your media as you can just simply stop recording and this little icon will actually fade away telling you that it's no longer utilizing the microphone while the media itself was still captured not awkwardly pausing your recording and of course you always have the ability to view last scores too on carplay by simply just requesting siri to what was the last kings game in hockey the kings lost the series four games to two against the oilers they lost the last game six to four on May 1st. Well, i'm sorry for king fans uh unfortunately we lost but that scoreboard is a was a new feature as well now things to be expected in ios 19 for carplay well for starters we are expected to see a new redesign icons when we will see a new circular design very similar to like what we've seen in apple vision that is expected to be coming to also carplay as well and in terms of like the vehicle information and stuff like that, unfortunately automakers never met the deadline so this feature doesn't seem like it's coming but I wouldn't be surprised if some features do make it. I know Porsche right now does have an app that you can install which gives you vehicle control of your car as well as status all utilizing the Apple CarPlay app. So I wouldn't be surprised if some vehicle information will be native on CarPlay without downloading a third party app. But as of right now, this futuristic world of like using our entire screen that we have here to all support CarPlay doesn't seem like it's happening unfortunately as vehicle manufacturers didn't met the deadline on time. So yeah, unfortunately that doesn't seem like it's coming on iOS 19. But something that we are expected to see in iOS 19 is voice recognition from Siri. In case you have a hard time of hearing things, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier in terms of like new accessibility features. There will be a new feature that will allow you to automatically enable and whenever you receive a phone call or somebody's in the car with you, a notification will pop up telling you that maybe Zachary or somebody that you communicate with once in a while will pop up and Siri with Apple Intelligence is smart enough to identify who's in the car with you and who's talking. So that's a pretty cool accessibility feature right there that is expected to come out on iOS 19. It should be also available on Apple CarPlay. In addition to that, right now we have the ability to bold in the text in the accessibility tab we will soon have the ability to also enlarge text too in case you have a hard time of seeing things so that's a cool little accessibility feature that's coming out but in terms of wallpapers we should be seeing a new wallpaper get added on a carplay but as of right now i know on ios 17 apple did remove remove one wallpaper that didn't make it to ios 18 unfortunately it's there's a small chance it may come available again once more on ios 19 but with ios 19 we should see more new wallpapers get added right here as well so although carplay 2.0 it doesn't seem like it's coming out on apple carplay we should be seeing some new features get added some helpful features at least but other than that, there you guys have it. That is a quick summary of all the cool stuff we have received on iOS 18 and some things we should be expecting on iOS 19. So let me know in the comments, what feature would you like to see get added next on CarPlay? I personally would like to see YouTube or other streaming platforms be added to be streamed here on your main device. Automakers nowadays allow you to do this. I don't see why Apple doesn't allow you to, as you simply could just tap on the app icon and if we scroll down, boom, we have YouTube in this Lincoln Nautilus. We can literally watch YouTube videos right here without any issues. So long as the vehicle is in park, I don't see why Apple can't also do this as well. Anyways, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching, but real quick, if you wish to watch more, I have these two videos alongside of me. That video on top is everything new on iOS 18. Point five, and the video underneath that is what's new on the Apple Watch on WatchOS 11.5. Thank you once more for watching.